Hello and welcome to Mondays, the show where I or Matt or we do something in the kitchen, whether we eat something or we make something or we try something. Basically, it's our riff on a cooking show because I watch salt. Basically, it's our riff on a cooking show because I watch salt, fat, acid, heat on Netflix and then about uh, two seconds later bought the book. And so now I'm just super into cooking and we're gonna make a cooking show about it. So I figured the first Monday's video that we could make would be an experiment straight from the book itself. And on page 199, Samin says that her favorite cookie recipe is just a tiny riff on the original Toll House cookie recipe where you up some of the brown sugar and you down some of the white sugar. I make cookies a lot. They're Matt's favorite thing that I make, so I figured what better thing to do for our first Monday video than make a thing I'm really good at making and then change it a little bit and see how they come out at the end. So down here we have all of our ingredients. Uh, both of them have the exact same amount of flour. I'm just doing half batches, so there's a cup and an eighth of flour in each of these, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. This one has six tablespoons of brown sugar, six tablespoons of white sugar, whereas this one has 10 tablespoons of brown sugar and only two tablespoons of white sugar because we're doing a half batch. I'm a little scared of what's gonna happen doing the half batch, but we're gonna roll with it. One <laughs> stick of butter each, one egg each, and then um, this amount of you know, chocolate chips each. I don't measure the chocolate chips, uh, plus vanilla. So we're just gonna make cookies and go from there. <laughs> All right, so to make any kind of cookies, whether you're making it with uh, more brown sugar, less brown sugar, any amount of sugar, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you make them all the same way. So you start with your butter, your sugar, and your vanilla, all in your mixer or your bowl if you're hand mixing. I had to hand mix cookies for a long time. <laughs> so we'll put in our sugar. And for this half batch, it's just half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we'll just mix that all up real good. All right, once we have a nice creamy mixture, we're gonna put in our egg and let that get all mixed in really good. So once we have the egg in, you're gonna add your flour, baking soda, and salt mixture little by little until it's fully incorporated into your dough. All right, so once we've got our dough all made, super simple, now's the fun part. We put in the chocolate chips, mix them up real good, and then we pop her in the oven, which we already have preheated to 375. Chocolate chips are apparently stuck. Great. And then, so I can bake some cookies whilst I make other cookies, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And we'll scoop it out in rounded tablespoons onto a cookie sheet and bake it for I don't know how long. I don't time my cookies, I just watch them. But I'll teach you my trick. So both batches have been made. This is the original over here in the glass bowl, and then this is the one with more brown sugar, less white sugar in the metal bowl. I tasted both of them, and I taste a difference, but you're the master cookie taster, so you get to tell me if there's a difference. Well, let's make sure we include chocolate chips with some you know, pretty wonderful. <laughs> As you can see, the exact same amount of chocolate chips, too. It's a little bit different. We'll see which one's better in the end. Alright, so our cookies are baking. They're doing pretty good. They're still all domed on the top. You can see, basically what I look for is like right in the middle. It'll get a brown spot, and they'll be like all, all the way flattened out and then I can usually lift it and it'll be light brown on the bottom and that's when I pull them. But that way, they're chewy and delicious and they stay chewy and delicious and they don't end up firming up or anything. So we'll check back in when uh, all the cookies are baked and we'll do a little taste test. So, 
Hello, everybody. Um, it's a new day. We were making these two days ago now on a Wednesday. Now it's Friday. And uh, on the day that I was making them, we had to leave. So I made like a few cookies and then had to put the dough away. Uh, but I put it in the <laughs> fridge and I didn't cover it or do anything to it. And now I can't do anything to it. Uh, it's just a rock hard glob in there. That's also just a rock hard glob. So we're gonna leave them out on the counter and see if they soften up and allow me to bake them. And if they don't, we're gonna be making cookies all over again. So we'll see you in like an hour. So we have some success. The cookie dough moves now. It's a little more crumbly, but I can kind of squish it together to form a cookie. Put these in the oven a little while ago. They seem to maybe be working, so we'll see how it goes. Again, at worst, I just have to make more cookies. Hopefully not. Oh! You got cookies, did you? Are you a handsome boy? Oh, don't jump. He's so handsome. Oh! <laughs> Holy stretch. Holy stretch. Holy step. Go step. <gasps> Good boy. All right, so the <coughs> our steam cleaner is here. <laughs> Yay! Now I can clean the carpet. So the other half of the regular cookies are out there, these ones, starting from this little baby to the beginning of the line. These ones, from here to here, are the ones with the more brown sugar, and they are considerably darker than uh, the regular cookie, like the dough is. It's not really showing up on the camera, but it is. But they also aren't, cookies are not spreading, and I'm guessing the culprit of that is my baking powder because it is old, because they were doing this before I put them in the fridge. So, pretty sure it's the baking powder. So I'm just taking them out and giving them a good old uh, pop on the top to flatten them. And then it's kind of like a crackle cookie. <laughs> uh, so we're about to finish baking, and then it'll be time for the tasting. Okay, so all of our cookies are baked. We have our uh, regular cookies here, our more brown sugar cookies here, and we're gonna taste them and see if they taste any different. So I guess we have to start with the regular cookie. Get a base. Ah. Sorry. Cheers. <laughs> the need is no explanation. It's a lot of chocolate. It's a lot of cookie. But it's a good balance. It's a lot of good. It's good. And now for the more brown sugar cookie. What did it serve? No, it's okay. I feel like it's more of a visual change than it is a flavor change. I feel like it's different and I can't put my finger on why it's different. If I, if I understood how to describe the difference between brown sugar and regular sugar in flavor, I feel like we could, we could nail what it is because I, I take it tastes specific it's like brown sugary to me yeah right it's it's just like more brown sugar which it's is like, exactly what it was it's like a molasses taste mm. there you go yeah which is not bad but i have to say i prefer the regular one personally being the expert on the topic it does taste a little more like grown up because it tastes less, it tastes less just like a sugar bomb. You know what I mean? More like a complex sugar bomb. Mm -hmm. It just, it's like the difference between if you made like a Funfetti cake or like a white cake. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're both really sweet, but one's like one's sweeter. One's got a, a particular type of sweetness. Mm -hmm. The other has a particularly different type of sweetness. This is the Funfetti 
the regular cookie. And this is the white cake, the brown sugar cookie. As you can see, I didn't finish my cookies, but Matt did. <laughs> to completion. You can have my cookies too. Uh, okay. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a great, uh, you know, cookie making experience. What do you think, Matt? I think it's been it's been a wonderful one. Great. It's taken a little bit longer than normal, but that's okay. All right. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See you later. <laughs>